Today I'm be showing you how to get a God Rolled Legendary Blood Vial. No, what you see on screen is not a God Roll. I'm going to be showing you how to get the God Roll. And this is incredibly useful for level 39 and 40. 40 is max level. Once you reach 39, it takes 470,000 XP to reach 40. So you'll be using that Blood Vial for a long time. So let's get into how this works. So you're going to be in the black wood house. Now I'm going to show you in just a minute how to get all three keys. For everybody that already knows how to get all three keys, I'm just going to show you the glitch and then we'll get into the key locations. So what you want to do is you want to hit X. You don't actually want to accept it right now. You're going to look at it and see if you like it. Ideally, you would want uh, healing on vampires and additional healing on med kits or healing on humans. That would be a god roll. So we didn't get the god roll. So what we're going to do is we're going to just dashboard and quit. And then when we reload, we can go take the travel point right next to the manor, go right back in the basement and try again. It takes about one minute to reload the game and check out a different roll. So within a few minutes, you can get a God Roll Legendary 39 or Max Level Legendary Blood Vial. Much faster than any other way you could do, since that is the only guaranteed Legendary Blood Vial in the game. And now we'll get into how to get all three keys so you can actually get that Legendary Blood Vial. For the first key, take the Windy Steadfast Travel Point. You're simply going to come this way up the mountain till you reach where my icon indicator is facing. You're going to see this gazebo light thing and you're also, if you haven't already killed, you're going to get one of the Blackwood Sisters right here. The key is right there. Next you're going to take the Nathaniel's Howl's Prayer Checkpoint and you're going to make your way up the mountain. Uh, you might be able to take Direcliff Safe House as well, I forget. What we're looking for is basically coming to the Blade Well Ranger Station. So as you can see, we have the Blade Well Ranger Station. We have the tower right there. We're just going to backtrack just a couple feet till we get to the gas canister and these rocks. So now we're going to come to the right of this rock formation. We're going to come right to the edge here keep going right to the edge uh, right here actually and we're going to start to drop down to this little point now you're gonna hold your analog left and when you start to drop down hold your analog back that way you don't fall off the cliff our next key will be located right in this cave once again we'll have another Blackwood sister guarding it it's worth noting you don't have to kill any of the Blackwood sisters. You can cloak if you have Jacob or you can, can just run in and grab the key. The key is located right there. For our final key, you want to start at the New Light Village and then run about 330 degrees on your compass until you get to roughly this point. You'll see a tree. There's nowhere further to go but up. Guess which way we're going? Yes, we're going up. So we're going to come up and around, and we'll have a cave over here. Inside, you guessed it, one more Blackwood sister, which I've already killed. And the final key will be located dead center in here on this plate. Now that you have all three keys, return to the Blackwood house, open all three doors upstairs. You will get a grave lock and the key to the basement so you can do the legendary blood file glitch. Also, if you're going for the achievement for Sisterwood, make sure to get all these information pieces on the map. You will need to be the one who manually collects them in order to get the achievement. And that's how you can get a God Rolled Legendary Blood Vial for max level as well as complete the Sister Wood achievement. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.